Hi, in this video I'm going to give you, I hope, a brief introduction to how to do your first draft for paper number three. Again, the focus, explain, apply, and evaluate ideas from Ken Baines, What the Best College Students Do. Let's take a look at an overview of what we want to do in this first draft. We're shooting for about 750 words. Each paragraph or section from in this draft should focus on one idea from Bain. So you pick a claim or a term or an example or a quote and you're going to build either a paragraph or a section around that one idea by explaining the idea, applying the idea, and evaluating the idea. And we're not going to work on topic sentences. That's going to come later after we've constructed our explanations, applications, and evaluations. Then we're going to put together topic sentences that can either function as the lead idea for a paragraph, if you fit everything into one paragraph, or if you need multiple paragraphs to do those three tasks, the topic sentence will lead the section of your paper. So let's look at what it means to explain. The concept I chose to write about for this for this sample section from Bain uh, from a uh, paper number three about Bain was self-compassion, which is what we actually read about uh, recently uh, from Bain's text. So. You can read this while I'm talking, or if you want to pause the video to read the full paragraph, you can. But what I want to point out is that this is written from the perspective of something for an audience that's never read Bain. So the assumption is that it needs to be explained clearly, although concisely, in language that someone who hasn't read Bain could understand. And so you'll notice that I've worked in some quotes. Uh, first, short quotes, self-kindness, common humanity, and mindfulness. There's a page reference. Notice how that page reference is actually to three different pages from the text because I'm taking out ideas that are referred to on three different pages. I return to Bain again for another quote about the same idea, though. I'm still on this one idea of self-compassion, but in my explanation, I work in another quote from Bain at the end of the paragraph using that old standby according to Bain. So this paragraph works us through what does Bain mean when he uses this term. At this point, there's no interpretation going on. There's no evaluation application going on. I'm just laying out clearly with a mix of quotation and paraphrase Bain's ideas so the reader understands it before I move on to apply it. The application section is where you look at your own life experience or something you've read in this course or another course or something you've researched on your own to explore. Maybe you've done some background research on some of the ideas that Bain has presented. That would be super cool. But in this example, I'm just going to work with the simplest format of application, which is applying an experience I've had, taking Bain and applying it to something that's happened to me to see if it works. And in this case, I talked about an experience I had as a faculty member dealing with uh, being on the Academic Senate. And I explore how, unlike uh, what I'm supposed to do if I'm being uh, self-compassionate, I was all over myself and really tough on myself. And I talk about how that experience was counterproductive to me, for me, and I say, boy, boy I wish I uh, had Bain's idea because I think Bain's idea would have helped me here. And again, you can pause here and read through the paragraph, but you'll notice all of a sudden there's a lot of eyes. Oh, hold on. Sorry about that. Let's get that, that show back on the road there. Sorry about that. You'll notice that there are a lot of eyes on this application page. I, 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 maybe too many eyes, huh? It's about 10 eyes. Maybe I need to redo that, huh? But for sure, the, the emphasis now is on personal experience. And so if you look back at the previous slide, and I'll see if I can do that without messing us up. But if we go back to the previous slide, you'll notice it's third person, and the emphasis is on Bain. And then when we shift to the application slide, now we're back to first person. So explain is a third person concept, apply is a first person concept. And that brings us to our third goal, evaluate. 
Uh, and what we want to do in evaluation section is come to a conclusion about whether we think that Bain's concept is useful or helpful or productive, or maybe we think it's problematic or confusing or uh, destabilizing or unhelpful or negative in some way, or maybe we think it's some mixture of both. And I think that's very often the the, the scenario where we like something about what Bain's saying, but we have reservations about it, or maybe we want to qualify it and, or add nuance to it or question it in different ways. And so here you can see my evaluation for this section is relatively short. Yours could be much longer depending on how complex it gets. And what's interesting here is the mix of first person and third person. Me and Bane, mano a mano, the showdown, the battle of the century. No, just kidding. But clearly the evaluation is where the first person voice and the third person reflection come together. Uh, and in this case, this is clearly a positive evaluation. But you should know that there's no requirement that an evaluation be positive. The evaluation could be negative. The evaluation could be mixed. And hopefully in the days ahead, we'll see more examples of different kinds of evaluations and approaches to the concept of evaluation in the paper. But please remember that your evaluation does not have to be positive. In fact, some of the coolest papers I've gotten have challenged and or questioned Bain in interesting ways. So let's go through a quick list of reminders and then I'll cut you loose to go through the draft. I want to remind you of two things. One, the PowerPoint this lecture is available on uh, the PowerPoint this lecture is based on is available right below the lecture, right above the lecture in Blackboard. Also, you can get the complete paragraph uh, on a Google Doc, uh, color-coded on a Google Doc, uh, again, on the same page in Blackboard. So you have lots of ways to access this information. Remember, you're going to explain. You're explaining to an audience that has not read Bain. Key point there. The explanation will probably be third person focused. You're going to apply. And here's where you're going to do your experience or reading or other knowledge or research. There's tons of possibilities, but probably more of a first person voice in the apply section. And then finally, evaluate is really a mix of the two ideas where you're going to bring together the third person concept and your personal evaluation of it. Your your personal views on it. You may see it as helpful, constructive, useful, or problematic, confusing, not helpful, or most likely some mix of the two. And I just want to reiterate that just because the sample is positive doesn't mean yours is supposed to be positive. Uh, as I said, many of the strongest paragraphs or sections I see are some kind of mix or even negative. And then finally, don't forget, as you turn to going to work on this draft, put aside topic sentences for now. This is real important because at this point in your draft, you're just trying to get as many ideas of explanation application and evaluation down as you can and you don't want to yet lock yourself into whether it's going to be a paragraph or whether it's going to be a section of your paper and that's going to influence the shape uh, of your topic sentence and the, and the placement and organization of your paper of the topic sentence in your paper all right so we'll see you out there in the conversation online and uh, i hope this video helped give you a sense of where you're going